Nigel Lithgow is being sued for a second time for sexual assault. Days after Paula Abdul filed a complaint that the producer of American Idol and So You Think You Can Dance sexually harassed her during the production of the reality competition shows, two other women filed identical claims in a lawsuit that Page Six was able to receive on Tuesday. The women, who decided to bring their lawsuit under the pseudonym Jane Does, claimed that they were competitors on the Lithgow produced, all female reality competition program All American Girl, which ran for one season in 2003. The ladies are suing Lithgow and his unidentified production firm for sexual assault and battery, sexual harassment, gender violence, intentional infliction of mental distress, and negligence. Lithgow was only identified in the lawsuit as John Rowe NL from the television program AAG. They are requesting a trial by jury. The complaint was initially reported by TMZ, which has established that the women are referring to All American Girl and Nigel Lithgow. In the lawsuit, the women claim that while they were dressed in dance costumes, Lithgow walked around the set and dressing rooms and openly swatted and groped, there, and other contestants' buttocks. In the filings, they assert that workers, contractors, representatives, and agents watched this occur but took no action to denounce the behavior or stop it from happening in the future. It was received with open arms. The women claim that during the rap party celebrating the completion of filming, Lithgow insisted that she ride in his car to go back to the studio where everyone else was going and that he showed an unusual interest in one of them. Seeing this, the other woman decided to go with them to make sure her colleague wasn't left alone, according to reports. According to the lawsuit, Lithgow brought them back to his Los Angeles residence where he reportedly made sexual advances that they rejected. One of the women's heads was allegedly covered by Lithgow at one point and he engulfed her in his sweater, attempting to kiss her and push her body close to his. It is said that later that evening, he forced his mouth and tongue onto her, pinned, the other woman, against a grand piano in the house. You adore, page 6 even more. Pain, suffering, shock, emotional distress, embarrassment, loss of self-esteem, disgrace, humiliation, loss of enjoyment of life, loss of earnings and earning capacity and or have incurred and will continue to incur expenses for medical and psychological treatment, counseling, and or therapy, the women assert. They have suffered and will continue to suffer from these conditions. Page 6 request for comment was not immediately answered by representatives for the 74-year-old English TV host. But this week, he fiercely refuted Abdul's accusations and vowed to fight this appalling smear. During one of the initial seasons of AI, Abdul, 61, filed a lawsuit alleging that Lithgow shoved her against the wall, then grabbed her genitals and breasts and began shoving his tongue down her throat in an elevator at a hotel when they were traveling. In the complaint, Abdul stated that Lithgow forced himself on top of her while she was seated on his couch in his home and attempted to kiss her while proclaiming that the two would make an excellent power couple. She claimed that this happened twice while she was a judge on Siddict. They said she turned down their advances. Call the Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-330-0226 if any of the issues discussed in this story affect you or someone you know.